Hello folks, Samsung made all Galaxy fans happy by exclusively using a Snapdragon processor in the Galaxy S23 series. Thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, the Galaxy S23 series offered the best performance and battery life ever seen in Galaxy S series smartphones. However, the company still plans to bring back the Exynos processor with the Galaxy S24. Of course, nothing will be official until early next year, but there have been quite a few tipsters passing along speculation about some Samsung's 2024 flagship series. According to reports from South Korean media, Exynos could make a spectacular comeback to the Galaxy S lineup with the Galaxy S24. Apparently, not using Exynos chips in the Galaxy S23 series gave little negotiation power to Samsung, and as a result, the company had to spend almost 50% more on buying chips in 2022 compared to the previous year. So, if this rumor is true and Samsung does develop a Deca Core Exynos 2400 that can rival anything Qualcomm put out there for next year, it will allow Samsung to allocate more of its Galaxy S24 better toward improving specs. The report claims that Samsung decided to up the base RAM and storage with the Galaxy S24. The Galaxy S24 and the Galaxy S24 Plus will reportedly feature 12GB of RAM and 256GB storage, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra could feature 16GB of RAM. The company can manage to do this without increasing the price of the Galaxy S24 series compared to the Galaxy S23 by reducing the acquisition cost of processors. Apparently, Samsung's foundry's 4 nanometer fabrication process has improved a lot since its initial days, so the performance of the 10 core Exynos 2400 could be a lot better than the Exynos 2200 that was used in the Galaxy S22. An industry insider claimed, with the stabilization of Samsung Electronics 4 nano foundry process yield, there are positive reactions to the performance of the Exynos 2400 from inside and outside the company. And it might turn out to be the case that using the Exynos 2400 chipset in some regions will allow Samsung to keep pricing increases if they're in it down in 2024. While many phone enthusiasts don't seem to be terribly excited with the prospects of Samsung using the Exynos 2400 chipset and some Galaxy S24 series units again depending on the region, most consumers probably couldn't name the chipset that powers their phones. As a result, pricing of the new series might be of greater concern to the average joy. And if the Exynos 2400 100 chipset is as powerful as rumored specs make it sound, and with Samsung's 4 nanometer yields improving, it is looking more and more as though Exynos 2400 powered Galaxy S24 models will be a sure thing. Another interesting rumor hints that Samsung is bringing some core tech on board to provide improved battery life with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Samsung SDI, the department that develops and manufactures Li Ion batteries, could be planning to apply capacity increase technology used in their electric car cells and put it inside the Galaxy smartphones and tablets. This stacking method tightly stacks battery components like cathodes and anodes for better energy density. Also, stacking battery components will allow for higher battery capacity for Galaxy phones, according to a report by the Elect. Moreover, this battery technology could be implemented soon, allegedly with the Galaxy S24 Ultra that will debut next year. The Galaxy S23 Ultra packs a 5000 mAh battery, to which Samsung could add 10% more capacity in the same footprint using the new electric cell technology. And this, by the way, is 5500 mAh. Sounds good and promising. Such a move would make it a prime candidate for the phone with best battery life in 2024. Adding two more hours to battery life would catapult the S24 Ultra to the top of Samsung's pile, beating the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the process. Time will tell. Anyway, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Also, share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.